Everybody, it's Christmas Prepared My 101 out here camping this weekend up at my friend's house. No, we're not bushcraft camping or survival adventure camping or anything. It's just plain old freaking camping. So some of the things that I have to try out here this weekend were completely random. Uh, as I explained in an earlier video, I get uh, things from King Camp that have been returned to Amazon. So they don't even know what that stuff's going to be. It's completely freaking random. And some of it is just like stuff that is not applicable to this channel or it's damaged or whatnot. But I finally got lucky and got a couple of the things that I was crossing my fingers for uh, to show on here. So I'm going to be doing about three items in this video and the cool thing is they all kind of go together. So if you want to find out more about this uh, really freaking nice cot and some other stuff that goes with it that's a little bit different from the one that I showed before, don't go away. Okay, so the one that I showed before is pretty, I mean, it was a different one, but it's basically this one. And this one was the ultralight compact cot uh, from King Camp, which I'd never seen anything like this before. So although this one is pretty cool, what I really wanted to try was one of their bigger, taller ones. Well, one finally came in and I was pretty impressed by this, and you'll see why rather quickly. Now, the other cots that we've used before, my friend that owns this property, he's got one of like those uh, old school military ones. It's like canvas and big square bars, and it's just, if you've ever put one of those together, you know it's a complete, utter pain in the ass. So check this one out. This is the King Camp one. So it's not that much bigger in size than one of like, you know, a folding camp chair. But you'll see that this one is actually way easier to set up than just about any other one you've ever seen. Pull that strap. And it's done. Nice and easy. Oh. Oh. It's so freaking hot out. Like 97 degrees today. So the specs on this I'll put on the screen because I don't remember off the top of my head. I wanted to say it was something around uh, 250 maybe. And generally speaking, they can always take more than that. They just try to, you know, pad their numbers a little bit to be on the safe side but this comes together in just a couple of seconds and they've got a neat little system with they got these straps with the legs that are you know fixed in place and that just kind of makes sure that something doesn't happen where uh, you, you sit on the sit on the wrong way and the, the legs spread out and break or fail or anything like that but yeah, this thing just opens up, comes together in no time flat. So if you're doing regular camping, not survival adventure camping, it's pretty freaking nice. Now the next two things that I got, they kind of came over a couple different days, but they can all work in conjunction with this. So let me go grab those. So the very first video that I did on these products was on the... Uh, the Double Deluxe Plus self-inflating mat. And these ones don't get returned that often, apparently. But I finally got one that was a single. So this is the single Deluxe Plus mat. And this thing is nice and thick. Got two air valves up here. I mean, it's, you can kind of see how much padding is there. 
And what really makes this nice is if you go ahead and let it get filled up, then open up the valves. Let some of that air sink out until it conforms to your body and close off the air. And then that is just, at that point, it is unbelievably comfortable. Now these Deluxe Plus pads, trust me, they are too big and too thick to think about rolling these things up and strapping it to a pack. These are not backpacking pads. They're camping pads, they're not backpacking pads. And I know there's a lot of people that watch these videos that think that the only way to camp is to go backpacking and camp. And no, it really isn't. You know, sometimes there's just going out and having fun camping. Remember that, right? <laughs> It wasn't all sucky, miserable bushcraft, uh, you know, survival TV camping where you're just miserable. Sometimes you go out and you bring a cooler with ice. Remember that? Coolers and ice, fun. <laughs> so this would be pretty much, you know, for that kind of camping. It's just too big for, you know, the survival bug out fantasy. But wait, there's more. Now part of the fun of getting these random things that show up onto my porch is figuring out what the hell they do because they're returns. So more often than not, they're missing whatever little literature is attached to the package or something like that. So this one showed up and I'm like, hmm, what does this do? And it, it said King Camp Camp Pad. It's got the size, top fabric uh, is 100% cotton, bottom fabric is 100% polyester, and it's got some fill to it. And I'm like, well, what, what do you do with this? So I think I figured out what this is for. I'll go ahead and set this up now. So you've got, top is the cotton, you got polyester with these grippy nubs on the bottom and these elastic straps, so it appears Yeah, this is, this, is all, this is the ultimate uh, color combination. Red, blue, and brown. <laughs> you just take those elastic straps, put them over the edges there, and you've got some more ties. Now you've got this soft, extra padded top cover that's kind of like sandwiching your inflatable mat uh, between the top and the uh, actual cot itself. Now I've been on YouTube long enough to know what people are going to say. Uh, I'm not insisting that you have to go out and buy this. I'm not insisting that you have to go People say, well, when you buy that and you buy the pad and you buy the other pad, then it ends up being so much money and you could just get whatever. And I really don't understand these, these kind of uh, comments because you don't have to buy this thing. It's, I'm just showing you stuff that I get an opportunity to show you. And I, I've been nothing but impressed with their stuff so far. Yeah, some of, the, some of it, like especially the, the fancier chairs, uh, tend to be kind of pricey, especially when I've seen other uh, things that look almost exactly the same, you know, at uh, Costco or something like that for half the price. But I don't think I've ever, I'm sure they're out there, these cots like this, but I haven't personally seen one myself. This thing works really well. I've definitely not seen any like the compact cots. And uh, these self-inflating pads are really freaking comfortable. So if you're going out to camp to have fun and you want to be comfortable for a couple days, then you know this thing 
packs up pretty freaking nice. And I really like, I like the cot especially because it just opens up and packs up uh, so fast and so easy. It's the easiest setting cot, easiest setting up cot that I've seen. But yeah, I just kind of got lucky that of the random things that get sent to me that I happen to get this particular cot with the single mat. Because that's what I was kind of hoping I would get a bunch of is like the mats, but nobody, you know, not that many people return the mats. There's this one particular mat that I keep getting returned and it's like a double inflatable mat. And there must be something wrong with it for that many of them to be returned. Most of this other stuff, I've only seen like one, uh, just here and there. But yeah, these things are uh, pretty nice. Is there other stuff out there that is comparable? Probably, but I don't have those, so I can't show them to you. I can show you what I have right here in front of me. Uh, all three of these things. Is this top camp pad particularly necessary? No, not really. Oh, you could just throw a blanket over it. Um, but it does help to kind of keep everything together in one big piece. So what I'm planning on doing tonight, if uh, it cools down at least a little bit, is I'm going to use this, and I'm going to use that Snug Pack uh, jungle bag, which I haven't tested that out yet. Either that or the uh, crazy bug or the uh, Snug Pack uh, Travel Blanket XL, which is like the Jungle Blanket, but it's actually a little bit bigger and it's gray instead of black. So that's gonna, that's gonna be new for me, using this instead of the usual hammock. Uh, pretty freaking comfortable. So like I said, some of the stuff that I get with this little deal, I never really know what's gonna show up. Some things look like they could be cool, but when they get returned, they don't come back with everything and I don't know how to use it. Uh, there's one that was like, have you seen either like those pop-up tents? You got to fold them a certain way, throw them out and they pop up. Well, there was one that was like a pop-up screen bivy tent. Like a single screen bivy tent, which I have a single screen bivy tent, but this was like a pop-up version. But since it was returned, it just came shoved in this big box. It didn't have the outer container, which you need to have it all cinched up. Didn't have the instructions, so I don't know what the trick is. It's just like, well, what do I do with this thing? You know, maybe eventually I'll... That's half the fun is trying to figure out how this, this stuff works because I'm not getting it, like, brand new. Uh, i got to figure it out. But I say about one in every five things that shows up is definitely new enough and usable enough. Just trying to find the things that are different and I think are worth it to show on this channel. So those are the big things right there uh, that I like. Uh, kids definitely like sleeping on that more. So they, they, uh, they did like the, the shorter one before. But they really like that thing, especially with that uh, inflatable mat on it. So now the kids fight over who gets to sleep on that thing. If you're looking for that sort of thing, great. If not, no biggie. Uh, I had it, had a chance to look at it uh, show you if I thought it was good. I think it was so I did. I'll have links to those things in the description box below and I said if you see something if you've seen something out there that is comparable uh, That maybe cost less, you know, go ahead and you know throw your suggestions up in the description box below because that way we all learn about other things that are out there so far the King camp stuff has been pretty good built pretty well and I've been happy with it. So there you go, something different. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check the description box below for all the links that help support the channel. I'll be back with another video here soon. So see you then.